Hey, 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 hey. Good evening, good night, good morning. Good evening, good night, good morning to you guys. This is Antonio with the Body Reset Nation. Here with another late night chat about our health and wellness. Uh, today is my 49th day of my carnivore diet. And you know, I'm not eating sugar and carbohydrates and not intentionally no processed foods nothing like that and um i thought about turning in for the night but i decided to come on and maybe have a conversation about um diabetes so i want to see who's going to come on again i don't really promote these early nothing like that and uh, just kind of want to see who's around. So if you if you decide to click on the video, make sure you say what's up, what's up, Paul. And uh, Paul from the ATL got another friend from the ATL supposed to be popping in on the video too. And uh, um, today I'm gonna have this conversation. I'm over at the Mayo Clinic org. Again, if you click on the video, please say hello, please, please. I know some people like to stay incognito, but if you don't, if you want to. Uh, please say hello. I want to know who's on here with me. Um, hey, man. Hope you're doing well. So today, what you all you got to do, if you go to Google, just, just Google diabetes. And it should show you down at the bottom, the mayoclinic.org. That's where I'm going to um, be reading from today. And so this is my third class. The first class we did, I, hangout, I would say. The first hangout we did, we talked about insulin resistance. The second one we did, we talked about... Um, the second one we talked about, uh, oh, visceral fat. And this one we're going to talk about diabetes because all these things are all linked. Um, the last, the last um, hangout we did when we talked about visceral fat, it was crazy. Uh, that was like a two-hour video, and, man, it was amazing. So make sure you guys say what's up. Make sure you guys send some stars. You also can invest in what I'm doing if you want to. Um, it's all good. So, again, um this is the mayoclinic.org, and we're going to start from the top. It talks about the first question it says is, what is type 1 diabetes? And so we're going to go from there. We're going to go down to symptoms, um, you know, different things like that. That's, the, that's what we're going to do. Um, so diabetes. Um, it says diabetes mellitus refers to a group of diseases that affect how the body uses blood sugar, glucose. That's an important word, everybody. Glucose, which means sugar. Glucose is an important source of energy for the cells that make up the muscles and tissues. It's also the brain's main source of fuel. The main cause of diabetes varies by type, but no matter what type of diabetes you have, it can lead to excess sugar in the blood. That's what diabetes, prediabetes, all this stuff, all it's talking about is excess sugar sugar in the blood. I'm not a doctor. Again, I'm reading from mayoclinic.org. You can search diabetes and you'll be with me. Uh, it says too much sugar in the blood can lead to serious health problems. Too much sugar in the blood can lead to serious health problems. Chronic diabetes conditions include type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Potentially reversible diabetes conditions include prediabetes and gestational diabetes. So they says, you know, those are two that can be reversed. Prediabetes happens when blood sugar levels are higher than normal, but the blood sugar levels aren't high enough to be called diabetes. And prediabetes can lead to diabetes unless steps are taken to prevent it. Gestational diabetes happens during pregnancy, but it may go away after the baby is born. Symptoms. Uh, symptoms. Diabetes symptoms, re diabetes symptoms depend on how high your blood sugar is. Some people, especially if they have prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, may not have symptoms. In type 1 diabetes, symptoms tend to come on quickly and be more severe. Now, these are symptoms. Uh, yeah, it's going to be some for type 1 and type 2. Some of the symptoms of type 1 diabetes and type 2 are feeling more thirsty than usual, urinating often, 
losing weight without trying. Now, don't, don't you wish you could lose weight without trying but not have diabetes? Uh, presence of ketones in the urine. Uh, ketones are a byproduct of the breakdown of muscle and fat that happens when there's not enough available insulin. Feeling tired and weak. Feeling irritable or having other mood changes. Having blurry vision. Having slow healing sores. Getting a lot of infections such as gum, skin, and vaginal infections. Type 1 diabetes can start at any age, but it often starts during childhood or teen years. Type 2 diabetes, the more common type, can develop at any age. Type 2 diabetes is more common in people older than 40. That's where we at. What's up, B? When to see a doctor. Uh, it says, if you think you or your child may have diabetes, if you notice any possible diabetes symptoms, contact your health provider. Uh, the earlier the condition is diagnosed, the sooner treatment can begin. Um, goes from there. Again, uh, that's all. No problem, bro. Um, again, we're coming from the mayoclinic.org. We're talking about diabetes today, so it causes. And somebody might be out there saying, man, why are you doing this? I'm doing this because I feel like, you know, um, this is stuff that a lot of us don't talk about. And, you know, I just want to have discussions about it. And I think I feel like this is something that I'm called to do. Just have this conversation about our bodies and health and stuff like that. And as I'm taking a, a quick little pause here, if you have any other subject matter that you would like to see us, you know, have a chat about or, or review or go research on, you know, put them down in the comment section. And I love to uh, look up any other thing you guys want to talk about. What's up, Courtney? Hope you're doing well, man. Good to see you here again. So the causes, it says, to understand diabetes, it's important to understand how the body normally uses glucose or sugar. Again, when they, they, they throw that word glucose out there, a lot of people get lost. But glucose is just another way of saying sugar. How insulin works. Insulin is a hormone that comes from a gland behind and below the stomach, the pancreas. The pancreas releases insulin into the bloodstream. The insulin circulates, letting sugar enter the cells. Insulin lowers the amount of sugar in the bloodstream. As the blood sugar levels drop, so does the secretion of insulin from the pancreas. So, so all this stuff is about sugar, right? And sugar regulation based on this, right? Whenever you eat something, sugar comes into the body. Every, anytime you eat or drink something with calories and sugar and all that, sugar comes into the bloodstream, right? And then your pancreas, according to this, knows that something just got into the bloodstream from sugar. So insulin goes, gets out there and it lets sugar in. It's like a trap, to be honest with you. Insulin like sets the trap for the sugar. And when sugar ins enters into insulin, the sugar in your blood goes down. Why? Because insulin, you know what I'm saying, does that. It says, as the blood sugar level drops, so the, sec the secretion of insulin from the pancreas. So the pancreas... Uh, has a system that releases insulin every time we eat and drink because what? We don't want to have all of this sugar in our blood. But the problem comes in when the insulin doesn't work. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. So it says the role of glucose. It says glucose, a sugar, is a source of energy for the cells that make up muscles and other tissues. Glucose comes from two major sources, food and the liver. Sugar is absorbed into the bloodstream where it enters cells with the help of insulin. Again, we're gonna go back. Sugar is absorbed into the bloodstream where it enters cells with the help of insulin. The liver stores and makes glucose. So where do the liver can store glucose, sugar and the liver can make glucose. When sugar levels are low, such as when you haven't eaten in a while, the liver breaks down stored glycogen into glucose. This keeps your glucose levels within a typical range. The exact cause of most types of diabetes is unknown. Listen to what it says. They don't know the exact cause for diabetes. And I want to say this, if you all have dealt with diabetes or you want to even have, if you want to add to the conversation, I don't mind bringing people on to have quick chats and stuff like that. So again, you're welcome. If you want to just hit me up at the bottom, if you want to come and just chat or, or add to the conversation. I don't have to be on here by myself. So if you want to, you can always just hit me at the bottom. Like, hey, yo, yo, Antonio, I want to talk. I think you guys know where it, it'll show you at the bottom. You can request to come on. I don't mind doing that and having a chat with anybody that's, uh, that really does uh, want to see um, this conversation go far. Um, it says, so the exact cause of most types of diabetes is unknown. In all cases, 
uh, sugar builds up in the bloodstream. This is because the pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin. Both type 1 and type 2 diabetes may be caused by a combination of genetic or environmental factors. And we talked about in our last video, we talked about those environmental factors, which was, you know, the types of food, no working out, stress, no sleep, all that stuff, you know, um, and, and they're really kind of leaning towards it's about environment. And it's crazy. He says, but it is unclear what these factors may be. So risk factors when it comes to diabetes. Risk factors for diabetes de depend on the type of diabetes. Family history may play a part in all types. Environmental factors and geography can add to the risk of type 1 diabetes. Sometimes family members of people with type 1 diabetes are tested for the presence of diabetes immune system cells, which is called autoantibodies. If you have these autoantibodies, you have an increased risk of developing type 1 diabetes. But not everyone who has these autoantibodies develops diabetes. Race or ethnicity also may raise your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Although it's unclear why certain people, including Black, Hispanic, American, Indian, and Asian American people, are at a higher risk. <clears throat> Pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes are more common in people who are overweight or, over, or obese. <clears throat> complications. So now let's talk about you know, the complications, but we're going to back up just a second. It's saying type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes, it says is more common in people who are overweight and obese. Remember, we talked about that we're over at the Cleveland Clinic reading some information from them, and it said if we only lose, if we would lose 10% of our body weight, we would drop our chances of getting diabetes by 58%, and men should keep their waist below at 40 or below, and women should keep their waistlines at 35 and below. Very, very, very important. Um, complications. Long-term complications of diabetes tip develop gradually. The longer you have diabetes and the less control your blood sugar, the higher the risk of complications. Eventually, diabetes complications may be disabling or even life-threatening. In fact, pre-diabetes can lead to type 2 diabetes. Possible complications include heart and blood vessel cardiovascular disease. It says diabetes majorly increases the risk of many heart problems. These can include coronary artery disease with chest pain, angina, heart attack, stroke, and narrowing of arteries. If you have diabetes, you are more likely to have a heart attack or a stroke. Well, make sure we take care of business. Nerve damage, neuropathy. Too much sugar can injure the walls of the tiny blood vessels, the capillaries that nourish the nerves, especially in the legs. This can cause tingling, numbness, burning, or pain that usually begins at the tips of the toes or fingers and gradually spreads upward. Damage to the nerves related to digestion can cause problems with nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation. For men, it may lead to erectile dysfunction. So guess what? ED, uh, ED, having diabetes can lead to ED. Fellas, please. Kidney damage. The kidneys hold millions of tiny blood vessel clusters that filter waste from the blood. Diabetes can damage this delicate filtering system. Eye damage. Diabetes can damage the blood vessels of the eye. This could lead to blindness. Man, foot damage. Nerve damage in the feet or poor blood flow to the feet increases the risk of many foot complications. Skin and mouth conditions. Diabetes may lead you more prone to skin problems, including bacterial and fungal infections. Hearing impairment. Hearing problems are more common in people with diabetes. Alzheimer's disease. Type 2 diabetes may increase the risk of dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease. Depression. Depression symptoms are common in people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. It just keeps going down and down and down and down. So we want to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. So now the mayoclinic.org gives us some prevention. It says type 1 diabetes can't be prevented, but the healthy lifestyle choices that help treat pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes can also prevent them. 
So we're talking about diabetes and how do we deal with it? Prevention, how do we deal with it? Okay, you can't, you got it. So what should we do? So a lot of people say, okay, Antonio, I got diabetes. What's up, Miss Brenda? Say what's up. So so we, we got that. Um, what's up, BJ? We got that. So what do we do? You know, we got it. Okay, we got it. That person has it. Or the person, the doctor said they got pre-diabetes. What do they do? It says step number one, eat healthy foods. Choose foods lower in fat and calories and higher in fiber. Focus on fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Eat a variety to keep from feeling bored. Get more physical activity. Try to get about 30 minutes of moderate aerobic activity on most days of the week or aim to get at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity a week. For example, take a brisk daily walk. If you can't fit in a long workout, break it up into smaller sessions throughout the day. So number one, how do we start preventing the diabetes and pre-diabetes and stuff. Number one, we got to eat healthy foods. We got to get away from the processed stuff, the fried stuff, stuff we already know, but stuff many of us are addicted to and we just love and just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to get more activity. They, they, they say we want you, they want us to get 30 minutes of a moderate aerobic activity on most days of the week. So honestly, no days off. Lose extra, it says lose excess pounds. If you're overweight, losing even 7%, of your body weight can lower the risk of diabetes. If you're already overweight, just losing 7% of where you are right now can lower the risk of diabetes. For example, if you weigh 200 pounds, losing 14 pounds can lower the risk of diabetes. But don't try to lose weight during pregnancy. It says talk to your um, doctor about that. It says to keep your weight in a healthy range, work on long-term changes to your eating and exercise habits. Remember the benefits of losing weight, such as a healthier heart, more energy, and a higher self-esteem. It talks about sometimes that people with, with this needs drugs, um, things of that nature. Um, you have to, you know, do that. Um, it's up to between you and your doctor and all those things like that. And, and that's just something that sometimes happens, that that's what's going on in your life. Um, so one, one more thing, it goes down again. It says... Treatment, treatments for all types of diabetes. An important part of managing diabetes as well as your overall health is keeping a healthy weight throughout a healthy diet and exercise. BJ, you can also request to come on, man. Uh, shoot me a request uh, if you're on there. Um, it says eating healthy. Yeah. Pause just for a second. We'll bring, bring you on. Oh, there you go. What's up, King? Peace, King. Hey, hey, hey. So we're talking about the treatments for all types of diabetes. Number one, I'm at, it says uh, healthy eating. So there's no specific diabetes diet. It says you'll need to focus diet on more fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. It said these are foods that are high in nutrition and fiber and low in fat and calories. You also cut down on saturated fats, refined carbohydrates, and sweets. Everybody know that. In fact, it's the best eating plan for the entire family. Sugary foods are okay once in a while, but they must be counted as part of your meal plan. Uh, it says understanding what and how much to eat can be a challenge. It talks about sometimes you got to get you a dietitian, get you a nutritionist, somebody that knows what they're doing, who understands the, the food. Uh, physical activity. So everyone needs regular aerobic activity. This includes people who have diabetes. Physical activity lowers your blood sugar level by moving sugar into your cells where it's used for energy. So that's important, right? People, people say, well, I need to exercise. Well, it moves the sugar out of the blood and into the cells so they can be used up. The whole point is to get the sugar out of your blood and out of your, it's to get it burned up. Exactly. Right? Yep. The whole point is if you don't move, the more you move, the more you work, the more you burn up in your body. And that's why some people can eat what they want, it seems. And and it's like, man, it, 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 you know, their body is cool. Why? Because they're steadily burning, burning, burning all day long. Like you said, man, you work, you walk upstairs. That's to say, some people, they say, they, they, they take the stairs, don't take the thing. Why? Because every time you're moving your body, you are literally burning sugar out of your body. And the more you, and if you're a person that eats all the time, 
but you're sedentary, it's like you are just you you just sitting there. You, <laughs> they picking you off real easy. Oh yeah, big picking time. you off real easy. So um, it says, this is what it says. I love this part here. Again, we at the MayoClinic.org talking about diabetes. It says, physical activity also makes your body more sensitive to insulin. That means that your body needs less insulin to transport sugar to your cells. So the more you work out, the more you're in shape, the less you need insulin. That's a blessing. It is. And it, man, it's is stuff that we know to do, but when you when you see people like the Mayo Clinic break it down like this, we're like, man, oh, when I work out, my body burns up the sugar that I do have, and then when I'm physical, my body is sensitive to it, and I don't even need insulin as much. Why? Because the, the muscle, the working out, that's doing the work for me. It says, get your providers okay to exercise. I don't know about that. But anyway, I ain't gonna tell nobody yet. If you need to walk down the street, you need your doctor's permission. Maybe some people do. But anyway, then choose activities you enjoy, such as walking, swimming, biking. It says, what's more important is making physical activity a part of your daily routine. And that's where you come in. This thing right here pretty much says, it's the food and it's the physical, act physical activity. These are the only two things they say are the treatments for diabetes. BJ. Outside of, we know medication and all that. But I'm, I'm literally, it says right here, treatments, healthy eating, and physical activity. Those are the two things that it listed. Why do you and think that is? That's the beauty. I, I like that, but this is the problem. Huh? So there's a large percentage. The volume is low. I don't know the percentage. Can you hear me now? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Hmm. Can you hear me now? Uh-huh. You just said lower than you were the other night, but anyway. Oh, Hold on one second. You can keep talking. I'll fix that. Yeah, but what, 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 what's important to me for this is that it's saying that the two things that they want people to do, two things, the treatment is healthy eating and physical activity outside of um, sometimes people need medication. And I think that's something so important because if people are or pre-diabetic, or people are, are getting to the point where they're overweight, or we're obese, we're obese and all that, the, the, the two things that will address it is the healthy eating and the physical activity. And it's almost like, man, that's like free game right there. They're, they're giving you the answer to everything, and they're saying, hey, the treatment for all types of diabetes is healthy eating and physical activity. Why, why is that important? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go back to the first question you asked me in the beginning about why um, uh, does that physical activity change the factor? You wouldn't have so many people in America with type 2 diabetes. If, let me do I this. Mean, like you said, yeah. You're really low. Let me, do, let, me, let me take you off, but then send me back another invite, okay? All right. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay. Hey, Ms. Brenda. Okay, let's bring them on. I think I just clicked and sent invite to BJ. Hello? Can you hear me now? You still seem low, but don't worry about it. Go ahead, go ahead and finish your point. Hmm. It's weird. Um, uh, but anyway, there's a there's a there's a large percentage of Americans that walk around with type two diabetes, and it's it seems it it seems real simple. Yeah, just go out and walk and and and, and do this and do that, and you can you can stop di type two diabetes. You have a lot of people that decide I'm gonna just take the medication because I'm not gonna stop eating the way I eat, and I don't want to get off the couch. Complacency is what's killing a lot of us, Ooh, and wait. especially especially in the black community. Somebody would catch an attitude with you if you said, maybe if you, you know, change what you're eating, get off the couch and take a walk with me, you might reverse everything that's going on in your life. Nah, nah. They'll rather argue with you and you're sharing the truth. As simple as that is, get up off the couch, walk to the store, get you some healthy food, Walk back home. If it took you 30 minutes, you've done just what they require you to do. Mm -hmm. But as simple as that is, 
we as a as a people, I don't care if you white, black, purple, pink, or yellow, have an issue with complacency and not accepting the truth. It's that simple. And so we died from this. I have three siblings, three siblings that didn't make it to 60, man. Three, all with health conditions. My brother died, he had a stroke and he couldn't recover from it. My sister died of type two diabetes. Her nails were coming off. Mm. My oldest sister died of uh, uh, hepatitis because my two sisters were in the drugs were heavy. But underlining conditions, my dad died of heart condition. And the people wonder why I work out and do what I do. I don't want to go that route. I don't want it. All that stuff I mentioned is hereditary, bro. And you said it's so simple. 30 minutes of workout or some type of activity change what you eat and you don't have to take any medication nothing you don't have and, to have any ailments. anything like that yeah right so as simple as you made that why do so many americans have type 2 diabetes pharmaceutical companies are billionaires because of them why why do you why do you think why do you think is it is it really just that are we just really that um, addicted to these oh, foods? Yeah. Oh, oh, everything that's out there in these foods are addictive. I'm addicted to double cheeseburgers, bro. Do you know there's a chemical in cheese that will make you addicted to food? I watched this, an episode, huh? A doctor I follow, I'm going to give you his name. I'm, I'm going to find his name on here one of these days. This doctor I, I follow on YouTube, this man is about 80 something years old, but he looks like he's in his 50s. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm talking about like, he's tall, slender, got his mind sharp. But one thing that he, he talks about, he said there is a chemical that's in most of the foods that we have. He said it's in deli meats. It's mm -hmm. in, um, I forgot that some, he talked about it. But anyway, it's a chemical that tricks your mind into the your food that, it tricks your mind to believe that the food you're eating is more delicious than it is. They I literally develop yes. a chemical to yes. go into the food to tell you that this food tastes more, tastes better than it really is. Bruh, they have a chemical that make water taste like a steak, bruh. All it takes is a drop. How do you think they make plant-based stuff like Beyond Meat taste so good? It's a chemical. Now, can you take plant-based and mix certain vegetables together and make it taste like something? Yes, but not like they do when they make it processed. Man. It's, it's, it blows me away, man. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm one of the ones that was addicted to that stuff and probably still am. I just wow. control it. Listen to this, man. And we're going we gonna to end on this right here. It says, I, I came over to the, my Cleveland Clinic, right? Dot org mm -hmm. dot, yeah, my clean. I want to check out just different because you know the Mayo Clinic, these guys. But look what it says. This line right here gra grabbed my attention. You hold the keys to managing your diabetes. <laughs> it says you hold the keys, not the doctor, not them. It says you. It says by what? Planning what you eat. Whoa, we ain't doctors. We've been talking about this. Planning what you eat and following a healthy meal plan. Follow a, it says, a Mediterranean diet, which is the vegetables, the whole I grains, love, beans, fruits, yes. healthy fats, low sugar, or they say something called the DASH diet. These diets are high in nutrition and fiber and low in fat and calories. Man, that's what, that's what you're talking about. Remember you talking about you and your wife yesterday, right? Eating the, mm -hmm. the, the fruit, the, the vegetables and the stuff, and, and high in fiber. Why is high in fiber so important, BJ? I, I have an idea. You may have it. Why do you think these, the Mayo Clinic, the Cleveland Clinic, why do they keep telling us we need to have fiber in our diets? Fiber is what cleans out that digestive system, sir. That colon, that all that stuff. That gut is where everything causes your problem. It's from the gut. It's nowhere else on your body. Your gut has all the bacteria and garbage that when you put fiber in your body, flushes that. If you eat something and it, it's not what your body needs, 
it sits in the stomach. And then it builds up bacteria quick. Like people talk about, I love steak. <laughs> and they talk about it sits in my stomach for a long period of time. But it doesn't if you eat fiber because fiber is pushing all that through your body. No constipation. Uh, um, uh, what else? Constipation and diarrhea can stem from too much bacteria in your stomach. So That's fiber is what flushes it, though. Yeah, it says so. So these guys are on the same page. The Mayo Clinic and Cleveland Clinic, pretty much on the same thing. Number two, it says exercising, getting thirty minutes a day if you can, achieving a healthy weight, meaning you know trying to develop a a a, a, a healthy weight plan, a weight loss plan. Um, keeping your blood sugar, you know, um, monitoring your stuff. And it says, quit smoking if you smoke. And it says, you have a lot of control on a day-to-day -day basis. It says, we, you have a lot of control. And a lot of people don't believe that they have any control. Oh, man, I got this. I got the demand. Put this name on you. And you say, okay, that's just a, that's a sick order or a deathbed. Or he said this. No, it says, you hold the keys and you have a lot of control. And it's just about getting this knowledge in us every day. Like you said, most of us know this, man, mm -hmm. eating the right things, exercising, mm -hmm. staying away mm -hmm. from the chemical stuff that's taking us down yep. and, and, and getting our sleep and, and, and trying to find a way to, to, to right. decrease we'll, stress. In our life. And I, I really do believe many of us will see longer days, man, if we simply took back the food Make a decision to exercise. You know, I told you, man, today my 49th day of not eating this stuff. Man, I'm in the gym, and boy, I felt like a brand new man today. Yeah, I also felt like a fish out of water for a second because I'm like, okay, I'm back in here. But to be in there knowing, man, knowing that I'm in there for an hour, hour and a half, knowing that I'm burning up even more sugar, and I'm, in, I'm not even eating sugar like that. So knowing right. that my body is like, oh, my God, he's taking it to the next level. And what I talked about today, man, you just chatted for briefly on text. Is that good stress, man? What's up with that good stress? Oh, man. Come on, man. That's Come on, talk best. about it. That is the best stress. That's that's the one when even after a meditation, when I start working out, man, the 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 level of energy, the the mental uh, clarity, all of that takes place when you start working out, and and, and people don't get it when you move your body, that. I forgot the chemical. You might know it. There's a chemical that you produce. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, but keep talking. God. I'm it fine. Causes, it, it just causes your fury in your body when you work out. And it's just like, man, it, it, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, but I wish I would. I'm going to get it. It's going to come to my mind. But mm -hmm. that stress. Serotonin. Is the best stress. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Dopamine, serotonin. Yes. Stuff yes. like that. Yeah. It yeah. just it, 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 it takes you to a different mind frame. And and then once you do it consistently, mm -hmm. it becomes a it becomes addictive. I don't feel and this right is what too, too man. I would say, man, if you out there, if you if you older, don't be going easy on yourself. Once you get your your body ready. Man, you get in that gym, you know, you 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 go hard. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. because oh, yeah. when you go hard and when you push yourself, man, you you would be amazed. If you're over 40, you 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 your body is ready to be a superhero. Most people think, oh man, that's when you bull, you pull, you go down. No, man, you over 40 years old, 50 years old, your body is ready to take it up to the next level. Because you know, men, if we work our lower bodies, man. That testosterone comes out. Next thing you know, man, you you walking around. You ain't on a little bean pole, you know, mostly no more. But, man, your body is ready for that good stress. And I would say take advantage if you are able and you got the clearance. Go and work out and push yourself and do what it takes to keep this sugar out of your life and to get this good food in you. And it is no way, in my opinion, you have a better chance. Man, today I went this morning. I bought some pants we'll, the other day. We'll take, 38. We'll BJ, take, I got, got a question for you. You got huh? a question for you. Uh, we'll take, got a question for you. Well, yeah, let me see where you at. What's my process in the meeting only? Well, my process for, for me, um, I didn't see Will. What's up, man? My process is like, it's not nothing I'm going to do. I'm not, I'm not doing meet only forever. I mean, tomorrow my 50th day. 
I may stop tomorrow, right? Um, but me only to me was when I knew some of these things, I'm like, man, something ain't right. Something ain't right. And so I, I had two choices. I could have went straight to the fast, straight to, you know, I know what to do. I could have went straight to the water fast. You know, I could have went and just said, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go straight and just cut off sugar, which was a viable option. Or I said, you know what? I'm going to take a season. I like to eat. I want to get my strength back up because I wasn't feeling good for like two and a half, three months. I don't, man, I just, I, I just lost my strength. I was working out, BJ, man, you go look at my pictures. I was, man, I was carving it out and um, got this little virus or whatever, man. And, and, and I just kind of, you know, had to recover from that. But what, what I did was I decided to cut sugar off because when I started looking at prediabetes and things going on with the body, the, the link that kept coming up over and over and over and over again was glucose, 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 sugar. And so for me, because of what my particular situation, for me, I know that sugar damages the immune system. I know that, you know what I'm saying, overloading. I know that that's one of the keys. And so I said, you know what, let me go ahead and, 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 and siphon off or cut off the thing that I know is that's wreaking havoc in my life and it's sugar. And so me, Will, when it comes to... Uh, um, the, the carnivore for me, it was simply a way for me to say, okay, buy sugar. Let me cut off 99% of the sugar coming into my life for a season. Like I, I, I'm not, you know, some people go long-term. That's not really me. I may go with the keto, not a keto thing. I think I like because, you know, some blueberries, some other things, man, I like dark chocolate, almonds and stuff like that. So I miss that. Um, so for me, it's just was a way for me to say, you know what, let me cut this off right now. Let me just go on. Let me just go on, cut it off. And then once I get my body regulated to where I'm feeling like, okay, okay. And then I'll make some decisions. And now I'm thinking about now, like I've been thinking for a week. Okay. Am I going to do raw plant-based? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm just saying like straight, like non-cooked, which I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about, uh, or am I going to do keto? But what I've learned from the carnivore world is, man, you don't need all that that you that I thought I needed. I don't need all that extra that I thought I needed. I don't, and I don't even eat as much as I was would before. I eat a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't. Ha it's not a fast. It's not a diet. The carnivore diet is not a. It's not a. You don't count calories. You don't count none of that. You could. You don't have to because you're not eating all that extra starch all those extra calories. You don't have all those calories coming into your body because meat is really, you know, what it is. And for me, I really have leaned towards salmon. So salmon is a thing that I just, I just love that. I eat that probably more than anything. Um, I don't, you know, and that and beef, but that's just been my thing of cutting off the processed foods, cutting off the sugary drinks. Right now, I got this little bubbly right now, you know, so, <laughs> you know, some little, you know, some little salsa water, I, I did that, Will, just to cut off the sugar intentionally. And then once I make a decision, which tomorrow I will be making a decision on the next level, it's like, okay, where am I going to go? Keto, am I going to go straight raw? Or I may, take some, I may take some time and just do water for five days, six days. I don't really know. But one thing I'm not going to do at this moment is just go right back into the process eating and all that. No, 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 that ain't that ain't that ain't me. I lost two hundred pounds, so I really don't. Huh? Yeah, yeah, man. It, it's really. I mean, my friend right here, my brother right here, BJ. Shoot, early. Well, shoot, this year he was three fifteen. He down to two. He down to two sixty one, two fifty nine. I mean, we we all are in this situation, Will, where you know we 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 are understanding. Like BJ, know he know when something ain't going right, he tell me, "Hey man, I cut back on this. Hey man, I gotta stop." And we talk about it, and and to have a community of people where you like, "Hey bro," or well, BJ wife is a great you know vegan uh, plant based cook. She know what to cook, man. You know she know I don't use this processed sugar. She knows use this sugar. Okay, she knows how to substitute something that was giving you 2,000 calories. Now it ain't, it ain't getting 2,000 calories now, and, but he's getting his fiber and the things like that. And, and I think the sharing of ideas and taking those baby steps, the number one thing me and this guy right here talk to each other about 
is we keep you guys encouraged with, with make sure we move in our bodies. We post pictures. We, we, we make fun of each other. We laugh. But it is just like being in college. When you see somebody, you're like, what? Oh, okay, BJ showing out. He doing 75 push-ups. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. All right. All right. I got you. Okay. See? He took, he took his shirt off. Oh, oh my. Oh, hey, he took, BJ took his shirt off again. He's showing out. It's, 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 it's inspiration to keep going. Today, I, I, was, I was thinking about him today. I, I got done working out at the end. I did 15 push-ups. I was thinking about my brother when I was doing the push-ups. I'm like, this is the end. I'm tired. I ain't been here. But, man, I could knock out 15. Now, somebody will say, man, you ain't done it. But you know what? I knocked out 15. I knocked out 15. And, you know, and I, and I, and I, and I, I did that, arm curls. Uh, I did the lat pull. I mean, did a plethora of things. But I still knocked out 15. And I didn't walk out the gym like, oh, whoa, it's me. I walk out the gym feeling like, okay, I still, I, I'm, I'm on my way back. And... We talked about it last. The last time we talked is like I want to look like a God lives in me, and and, and that's 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 the thing. I want to look like a God lives in me, and that's why we do these calls, Will. That's why we do these right here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Will, you want to jump on? Come on, jump on, man. I think I can add uh, another person on here. Jump on right quick, BJ. You want to stay right there, right? Stay with me. Yes, sir. Let me see if I. Hey, Will. Let me see if I can invite you to the call, man. Let me see if I can bring you on. Let me see. I'm going to send you this invite. What's up, hey, folks? How y'all doing, man? What's up, What's bro? Up, man? Yeah, man, I'm just I'm just getting off of work, so y'all got to excuse me. But uh, yeah, man, I, I think that is really important. I, I'm, I'm trying to get back into, you know, just in that mentality. Just having that mentality, man, it just... It's so difficult, you know, um, if, especially when you don't have an ac uh, accountability partner, you know, and just having someone that, that can push you along, like you said, you know, to motivate you in those times. You can look at it and be like, you know what? Nah, they showing out. <laughs> you know, uh, let, me, let me get out there. Let me do that, you know. And, um, yeah, man, for, for a certain time, man, I was a big boy. I was about four, about 450, wearing Ooh. 5X, 6X shirts. 48 pants, you know, and I was pre-diabetic. And so I, I I had to lose the weight, you know. I, I I I needed to lose the weight. I wanted to be around for my babies. I wanted to be around for my wife. And and so I had to lose the weight. And it took like three years, but I lost over 200 pounds, uh, got down to a 34, you know, 1X, large shirt, you know, and – uh. And right now, I, 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 I've kept the weight off for about five or six years. And, and oh, right man, now, awesome. I feel myself kind of regressing, you know. Um, I feel myself regressing. I feel the, that appetite coming back. I feel those cravings for sugar coming back. And I'm, I'm finding it, I'm uh, finding it uh, that it's harder and harder to kind of curve uh, that appetite. I did raw <laughs> vegan for quite some time, and... I tell you, I felt the best that I've ever felt in my life when I was doing raw vegan. I felt like a teenager again. Mm -hmm. You know, I had the strength. I had the energy, the mental clarity. And uh, somebody started, uh, you know, summer came around and they started barbecuing. And, uh -oh. man, I, I had one rib and I, <laughs> I had one rib and I ain't went back six. <laughs> Oh, brother, brother, brother. It's okay. Yeah, though. man. It's okay. You ain't got to shake that. You ain't got to well, shake your head at that, bro. You know what Number one, I can say this. Yeah. If you did it once, you can sure do it again. Yeah, and yeah. since you ain't back there yet, we ain't going to let you get back there. All right? Yes, sir. Number one, we're not going to let you go back. Um, yes, sir. Because we, we are starting to have these, these calls, you know, once or twice, you know, a couple times a week. And shoot, I'm at home watching movies. Why can't I get on here an hour, hour and a half with my brothers and my sisters and, and talk about, man, what we got to do to keep ourselves, you know, accountable and on the level, what we need to do. And so yeah, we have yeah. these calls and I'm going to start hosting them on Twitter because, you know, on Twitter, they have space calls. You can get on there and talk and, um, you know, also do this on, on YouTube. But I have more people that I'm connected to here on Facebook like this. And so yeah. what we do, man, we just get together. You can follow BJ. You can look at his superhero pictures. He's 56. Wow. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't know if you're looking at him. He's 56 years old over there looking like Skeletor. Man, I'm, but, I'm, seeing, uh, I'm seeing the cuts. I'm seeing the cuts right now. Yeah. Bro, bro. Hey, <laughs> yeah, hey man. man, dude is no joke. And, and so 
you you talking to somebody who was he was three fifteen not long ago in June of wow. this year, and wow. so six foot seven three you know looking like he supposed to be on WWE somewhere uh, <laughs> fighting uh, Undertaker or something, but but <laughs> but I'm but I'm saying we are all in this same place and. He and I for the last what be two years? Ooh, yeah, We've been easy. right there saying, "Yo, easy. hey man, nope, mm -mm, mm -mm. yeah, get yeah. to the gym." Yeah. Hey, what we doing? We share information, we share ideas, we talk all the time, yeah. and um, because it's important to us. And even though a lot of people our age act like it don't matter, it matters to us. Yeah, yeah, it matters yeah. to us. Yeah, and it don't yeah. just matter for me for my health. I care about his health. Now that yeah. you on here, I care about your health. I care man, about Courtney's you. health. Last yeah. call, we had a whole lot of ladies on here. We care about them. And 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 I, I'm just saying, what do you, let me ask you this one question. What do you think is the one thing that's tripping you up at this moment? You and know I, what, to, 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 to be honest, uh, man, I just recently experienced a, a, a loss and, uh, and I just haven't had, I feel like I haven't had time, you know? And I, I think, you know, after that loss, man, it, it just seemed like everything kind of just went away. Um, I haven't stopped. I've just, just been on the move. Uh, my job is very demanding. Um, I, I'm a case manager and a, and a chaplain. And so uh, it's just so demanding. And so just I, I feel like getting something quick is just, you know, it's just up my alley. And, and having that time to prepare like a meal and you know, um, I just haven't had the time to do that. And so I, I think that's been my biggest downfall is that going to a fast food joint or going to go get me, you know, something that's real quick and simple. It's just been it's been convenient. You know, I think that's been my biggest downfall. Gotcha. And, and, so and to, words, really, to really be honest, man, it's procrastination and it's being lazy. You know, BJ, you speak to that. How do how you think I, he, can, he can come out of that? Thank you. First. Um, bro, can I be can I be a uh, hundred percent transparent as well as blunt? Yes, sir. I appreciate that. First, we need to stop making so many excuses, brother. Because yes. I work at mid, I work late at night, and late at night is I'm I'm actually at work in my fast. Yeah. So people are eating cakes and cookies and stuff in front of me. They're going to the snack machine. That was a weakness of mine. Yeah. And and I used to do that when I was weighing 315. So I feel what you're saying. Cause I used to be a vegan. I used to be skinny as all outdoor, and I didn't like the way I looked. So I stopped being a vegan. Yeah. But what happens is when you when you go when you're going through something and you're dealing with chaos, yeah. The thing that I chose, and this is just me speaking about me now. Yeah, I chose to begin to meditate. I had to come one, become one with me, with yeah. self. Uh, it's people always look on outside. It's always inside out. That's mm. the yin and the yang, brother. We deal yeah. with we deal with two different people. If you ain't met your met your your friend, yeah, you need to meet him. My 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 uh, evil part of me is called Benji, and he was the one that loved the junk food. And he, he, mm. he would sit there and he would allow somebody to sit in front of him and make him weak and he would go and eat it. Yeah. And I started picking up weight and I wasn't feeling good. Yeah. I, 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 I couldn't bend over and tie my shoe without trying to catch my breath. And that yeah. was embarrassing, bro. Yeah. So I made a decision. Stop allowing motivation to be your thing. Motivation yeah. is just an emotion. It's one day I'm motivated, the next day I'm not. So if right, I was doing right. this off of motivation, I wouldn't be doing it, brother, to be truly yeah. honest with you. So uh, secondly, I decided that I need to change. And the yeah. only way you're going to complete change is you got to go through something, bro. Yeah. Going, yeah. changing and 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 and. And, and and fixing your health, that's challenging. Yeah. That's that's that because you got so many obstacles in your vision. Like yeah. You need to put on blinders when you do this here. Yeah. So I put on my blinders and I told them, and I had some overweight uh, officers because I'm in law enforcement. I, I, I work with killers. Uh -huh. I have to house these guys. So I have to be in shape. Yeah. So 
they started a weight challenge. So I got in it. I got excited about it. And I never looked back. Three and a half years ago, I was 315 pounds. And not long ago, after I hurt my Achilles, and I gained that weight back because I wow. was sitting on my butt. So I had to determine it's not about consistency. Yeah. If I'm going through something, I'm going to grow through something. Yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. I don't let things shake me no more. I'm in the midst of something now. I don't stop working out because I need clarity. Clarity. I need my I need that clog. When you eat the wrong foods, your brain gets clouded and you can't think straight and you don't yeah. do things wisely. You eat anything. Before I eat anything now, I'll fast. Mm. I won't eat nothing. Mm. I know what it means to fast. I know what fasting does for me. Yeah. So if yeah. I if, if if I'm at the house and 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 things ain't always peaches and cream, it's not always something that we normally would eat. Be in the house. Right. So I'm right. Be transparent here. Right. And I'll go to work, and somebody might offer me something, but that's not in the realm of where I'm going. Mm. I'm fasting today. Yeah. No problem. And I'm still doing push-ups, doing fifty five sets of fifty push-ups, and I'm in a fasted state. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm utilizing yesterday's fuel. That's how this thing works. Mm. You start turning your fat into energy because it knows that there's no junk sitting in their bottom that's tricking tricking your body saying, oh, I got to use this instead of that. No. When it uses it up and it's satisfied, it pushes that sugar into your fat bed. And then you get bigger. Yeah. So I took and created a consistency. Yeah. I'm being consistent every day. I didn't care if it was one push up or two push ups. I got up and I did something. Come on, come on. Anything beats <laughs> zero. Anything. Yeah. So that was my mentality when I was on my way back. And then it just got from two push ups to a 20 down. 20 mm. down is 210 push ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just kept I just kept going. Just kept going. Kept grinding, jump roping, kept grinding, getting up every day. So when consistency started. It built discipline. Mm. When you discipline, can't nothing shake your tree. Come on. I don't care what it is. Come on. And like I said before, I'm in the midst of something right now, bro. I'm in the yeah. valley. And, yeah. and it's not it's not a happy place to be, but I know who I am because I have clarity. Yeah. I know yeah. to go meditate and to change my mood through my conditioning. Yeah. My working out, my yeah. eating right, me choosing the right foods regardless of what's going on around me. Yeah. You have to, and, and I'm not saying that to say it was easy. It was challenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, since I've disciplined myself, there's a joy in the challenge sometimes because mm. it makes you stronger. Yeah, And I'm yeah. not just talking about physically. I'm talking about mentally, and I'm talking about that inner man, that spiritual man. Come on. It makes you stronger, man. And yeah. I thrive. I thrive on this. Ever since Ant started, and I watched him, and I watched him go through different things. I've been in the keto. I've done the carnivore. I've done all these, too. Yeah. And it was weird because I'm like, this dude is doing everything. One thing he did that I did not do, was it 79 days? Mm -hmm. Water? Mm -hmm. Incredible. Blew me away, and I just knew this dude was determined. I said, I got to be around this guy. I got I to... Gotta, I gotta soak up what he's yeah. talking about. Didn't always comment on the uh, on his post or liked, but I was there. Yeah, and he knows I was there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's weird because as I began to build this discipline, because anybody that can go seventy nine days with just water, he blew discipline and consistency through the roof. Mm. And that's what I had to have. I knew I needed that in order to be successful in mm. this journey. So, brother, you ain't done nothing wrong. We all slip. I might go have a, I, I, last time I was home, and I don't even eat pork. I ain't had pork in so long. I went home and had a rib. <laughs> I had a rib <laughs> but the thing that you know that I did, yeah. it was just that. Yeah. A rib. Yeah. I didn't overindulge. I didn't eat a slab. Yeah. If you get a craving, fix it. Yeah. That's That's just me. Yeah. Because if you, if you, if you don't, the slip is heavier than the fall. Right. Because when you slip, right. you keep on slipping. You just keep on slipping. 
it's better just to fall because you can get back up, bro. Yeah, but yeah, But if yeah, you're yeah. slipping on that ice, you keep slipping. Try to get up on ice <laughs> after you just slip. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. So I use that analogy to say this. Find what it is that you truly desire and who you want to be and go get it. Yeah. Go get it, bro. I don't care if you eat another rib again. If you do so, be it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what time it is when you get to the gym. You better go and bust all that out your body. Yeah, 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 yeah. And get yourself to a place where if I decided to go get a double cheeseburger tomorrow, when I weigh in the next day, guess what I'm going to be? Mm. 261. Mm. Why? Yeah. Because this fuel that I used, I had that yesterday. I'm in a faster state when I go work out. Guess who yeah. I'm beating up? I'm yeah. beating up all that cheese, double cheeseburger. He's getting yeah. butt whooping today. He's done. He's got <laughs> to go. And then when I'm done beating him up, as far as the stuff it put in my body, yeah. guess what I'm going to do to him? Because I got fiber in my body. I'm getting ready mm -hmm. to drop him. He's got to mm -hmm. go. Mm. So keep your mindset, bro. Get you some discipline. Get you some consistency, man. Yeah. Keep driving. In order for you to go from what you was, 400 pounds to 200 and some pounds, brother. Yeah. That's, that's Superman. Yourself. That's a superhero. Applaud Bless y'all. Bless y'all. That's a superhero. Man, don't you ever, ever question who you are again, man. Anybody yes, that can drop it like that, man. You are, man, I salute you, man. Yeah, man. Bless that's you, man. Team. Bless that's you. That's yes, team will. <laughs> Man, yeah. I, I, I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate you guys. I've been on here listening, man. I just got off of work, man. And I, I said, man, this is something that's right up my alley, man, because I, I definitely need the motivation. And, uh, man, I, I definitely feel inspired. So I thank you guys just for your example. Appreciate you, Will. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Bless. Cool, cool. But man, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it end right there, man. I'm glad so we got a chance to talk. That's awesome. what it's all about. If it was all about Dude. Will and you getting a chance to share, man, that's what this is all about. I tell you what, next time we go live, I have a friend of mine that just got his doctor. And we've been he's the one that got me on checking my blood pressure daily. And I told him I wanted to have him on because he has that he, he that diabetes, all that stuff. He's he's actually a doctor now. And it would be awesome to have him on. He's a hometown boy from uh, Springfield. Oh, wow. And uh, he lives in Vegas now. His name is Jamerson Holland. Well, Dr. Jamerson in Holland. Introduce us, man. I definitely Offline, will. Offline, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, uh, I definitely Because, you know, that's, that's four hours from me. You know, I ain't really. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. I got you, man. Appreciate you, man. Will, BJ. Yes, sir. Awesome teams, man. And I hope this video, whoever sees it on the replay, We'll get it. I, 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 sh I shared it too. To take their life back. Yes. yes that's what that's it's about. important. I, that whatever is. your path is, we not on we ain't no cult. Whatever mm -hmm. your path is to get yes. to wherever you need to go, and you take that. And that's right. like you said, but you if you're gonna take that path, you need to go on that path and roll with it. Man. And, yes. and, and not stop. Whatever mm -hmm. that is. And so you do what you gotta do temporarily. Sometimes what you by any means necessary. Sometimes to get yourself out of the woods, you gotta do certain things to survive. But then once you get yourself Ooh. on stable ground, then you then you going okay, then now I can shift gears. And that's what happened with me. Stable yes. ground, 50 days, okay, now it's time for me to shift gears to the next thing. And so I would tell anybody out there, man, make sure you got people in your corner, healthcare people, friends, whatever yes. you need to do, but you don't need no doctor or friends to stop eating crazy. We all that's know, right. man. We all we yeah. all know we all know, but the thing is, if you're gonna eat that cheeseburger, take it to the gym. If you gonna eat, you gonna if you eat half of that apple pie, take that thing to the park and walk that thing off four miles. Whatever whatever you love to do. If you're gonna eat that fried chicken, get that, get that jump rope out and you go and work it out. Whatever it is, until you get to that point where you can say no, take take that addiction, whatever that food attraction or addiction is take it with you everywhere take it with you every every time you decide to work take it with you okay i'm gonna eat this cheeseburger but i know i'm going here i'm gonna i'm gonna eat that and eventually one i'm gonna fall off eventually one i'm gonna give up one i'm gonna one i'm gonna throw in the white flag and say you know okay okay because as you work out <laughs> as you get that right food in you as you continue to get around your mind the right way eventually you're gonna say you know what I don't need that no more. I don't need that. I thought I needed that. But take it with you everywhere. 
Hey, man. See what happens. Before, before you leave out, man, please take us out with a prayer over that right there. Gotcha. Well, Father, we just thank you so much for today. We thank you so much for this conversation. We thank you so much for those who have listened and will listen. I just pray that this information goes deep down inside. It says uh, wisdom is the principal thing. So we're talking about wisdom. And all you are getting, we should get an understanding. So Amen. God, we want to, we, we, we really striving to understand this, this, our bodies, understand this food, understand, you know, what it is we're supposed to be doing on this earth. And so we just, we just give you praise. We give you honor for this moment that we're not just talking, but we're actually going to be doers of the words that we're saying out of our mouths. And we're going to see yes. the results of that. And I just give you praise, glory and honor in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brother. See you all next time. Peace and blessing, King. Peace.